From Klima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Transformer manufacturer L.H. Martinison, a division of electromechanical equipment manufacturer Actom, has launched its new 32 million rand industrial fan production facility in Germiston in Gauteng. Sabrina Jardim tells us more. L.H. Martinussen pointed out that the facility strengthens South Africa's manufacturing capabilities, enhances job creation and aligns with the National Development Plan's goals for economic and infrastructure advancement. The Departments of Trade, Industry and Competition described the opening of the new facility as marking a significant milestone in South Africa's industrialization and localization efforts, adding that it is a direct outcome of the National Industrial Participation Program, a key policy instrument under the country's industrial policy framework. The department said the new facility comes on the back of Actum's recent supply of industrial goods to state-owned ESCOM and its commitment to fulfill NIPP obligations. It noted that these obligations are designed to leverage strategic government procurement to stimulate domestic manufacturing, promote technology transfer and support the growth of local industries. This moment marks a significant milestone, not only for Actum, but for South Africa's broader journey toward industrialization localization and shared prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, when we speak of industrialization, we often mean large factories and heavy machinery. But at its core, industrialization is about transferring skills, technologies and know-how so that we can add value within our own borders rather than ship our wealth in the form of raw materials abroad. We see this type of initiative as crucial for, the, for our country and not just our country, our continent as well. And we would like to see our competitors and other OEMs uh, commit towards industrializing in the region to embrace our local economies, economies on the continent, to, to grow our continent and create jobs and uh, 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 stimulate econo economic growth as opposed to purely importing. The new plants will manufacture large-scale industrial fans for energy, mining and food processing applications, supporting both domestic infrastructure projects and regional export opportunities. It also represents a practical case study of the successful implementation of the NIPP through original equipment manufacturer participation, the DTIC said, adding that the facility positions Actum as a key contributor to South Africa's efforts to reduce import dependency, enhance competitiveness and grow the manufacturing sector. What we've realized in South Africa is that there's a, there's a desperate need for uh, the reindustrialization of our economy. So when you look at the, the levels of unemployment in the country, um, it, it's a crisis. And, uh, and beyond that, you know, uh, we desperately also need uh, economic growth in the country. We need uh, to stimulate our GDP. And uh, you know, when we look towards um, the, uh, the industrial environment in the country, uh, our views is that um, there's, a, there's huge potential for um, the economy to be stimulated uh, by way of localizing products that are, that are sometimes imported um, and uh, hence we took a decision to say uh, let's invest uh, in this factory. The NDP goals ultimately is to look at how do we uh, create jobs, how do we localize, how do we stimulate economic growth. And, uh, and for me, this investment is one uh, that's enabled, uh, firstly, an increase in capacity industrially in the country. Um, and this is one of many other investments that we've done. So the Actum Group has, uh, over the past year, invested approximately 220 million rands uh, across capacity expansion in various production and aftermarket support uh, facilities. And, and ultimately, these investments uh, create jobs on the one hand. It takes away from the social burden on the state. Uh, but more importantly, it creates an economically active population that uh, the, uh, people work, they pay taxes, the, com the company pays taxes, and ultimately that stimulates GDP growth. Speaking on the issue of unemployment and slow GDP growth in South Africa, Naidu noted that Actum had undertaken to actively embrace education through the development of various training centres. With this in mind, the new facility also houses a training centre which Naidu said has taken on 80 youth as apprentices. So given the need for um, you know, economic growth in that, we then took a decision to invest here, um, to also uh, invest into a training centre as well, beyond just the fan investment, um, to, 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 to develop uh, the skills in the surrounding communities, uh, to um, the surrounding schools, um, you know, so that we can absorb people into our business. 
And, and the key thing there is that uh, that training uh, forms a key, um, uh, it's, it's key to the future of our country. And what we also do is use these training centers as a platform for surrounding communities in terms of skills development that can help people put food on the table by learning basic skills on electrical, on painting, on carpentry, on maintenance and various other initiatives. So our intent here, to, you know, in terms of these investments, is towards a broader African market strategy so Actum as a group exports extensively into the African markets, uh, but also beyond, uh, outside of Africa and to other countries as well. And, uh, and uh, what we see in Africa, firstly with the African continental free trade area, is the fact that Africa as a continent is projected to have the world's largest economically active population by the year 2050. And with that, um, you know, there will be a massive demand for products and services, um, and our intent is then to leverage off that demand uh, to um, then expand production in countries and, and ultimately uh, that will employ local people, create GDP growth and benefit the broader African economy. It has reaffirmed our shared mission to build a thriving, inclusive and globally, South, globally competitive South African industrial economy. The journey ahead is ambitious but with vision, collaboration and determination, I have no doubt that we will succeed. That's Cremo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.